wastewater is water which is of no further immediate value to the purpose for which it was used, or in the pursuit of which it was produced, because of its quality, quantity, or time of occurrence. Untreated wastewater causes major damage to the environment and to human health. Almost always, wastewater should be treated in order to reduce the transmission of excreta-related diseases and to reduce water pollution and the consequent damage to aquatic biota. In developing countries, only a small proportion of the wastewater produced by sewer communities is treated. In Latin America, for example, less than 15% of the wastewater is collected in sewered cities and towns is treated prior to discharge. Located in northern Costa Rica, Monte Verde is one of the few cloud rainforests in the world. It has an annual rainfall of 3 meters, but it gets most of its moisture from the mist of passing clouds. Monte Verde has an average temperature of 16 degrees Celsius at an average elevation of 1400 meters. Wastewater treatment systems in Monte Verde include anaerobic lagoons, aerobic lagoons, organic fertilizer, and biodigesters. Anaerobic lagoons are structures to treat animal waste by predominantly anaerobic biological action using anaerobic organisms for the purpose of reducing organic matter in wastes. An aerobic lagoon is a similar structure to the anaerobic lagoon, but instead of an anaerobic process, it uses oxygen as a primary source of fuel. This option needs a constant aeration but allows for greater diversity in biology. Organic fertilizer is the use of raw manure which is spread onto crops in order to increase the crop biomass and the nutrient density. Anaerobic biodigestion is a series of biological processes in which microorganisms break down biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen. Biodigesters created in the Monte Verde zone were funded through the Earth University in order to promote their carbon neutral program. The polyethylene tubular biodigesters were the digesters of choice in the Monte Verde zone. They were made with 90% saran roofs, they were inserted in 8 meter long holes, and fitted with PVC piping to biogas burners. A very simple but incredibly effective design. The digestion process begins with bacterial hydrolysis of the input materials in order to break down insoluble organic polymers, such as carbohydrates, and make them available for other bacteria. Acetogenic bacteria then convert the sugars and amino acids into carbon dioxide, hydrogen, ammonia, and organic acids. Acetogenic bacteria then convert these resulting organic acids into acetic acid along with additional ammonia, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. Finally, methanogens convert these products to methane and carbon dioxide. In your homes, have you ever wondered where the water goes after you flush? Homes, farms, and schools can all contain varieties of black water sources, or water contaminated with waste such as pig excrement, cow excrement, goat excrement, and human excrement. These black waters are high in pathogens or bacteria which make people sick. They're high in nutrients like potassium and they're also high in solid matter. Biodigesters can not only use these waters to create biogas and to reduce contamination, but they also use most other organic materials like scraps of leftover food or any other organic material. In order to prevent large solids and unwanted materials to enter the biodigester, the waters coming out of the farm or house are filtered using a sedimentation tank. A sedimentation tank can be thought of as a resting place where heavier solids sink to the bottom and the fats rise to the top. This allows for the solids to be removed through daily mixing and inspection. After the mixture has been cleared of unwanted substances, it enters the biodigester to begin the digestion process. After several days, the influent finally comes out of the other side of the biodigester as effluent. This effluent is usually much more homogeneous in texture, and its nutrient content depends highly on the influent.
The effluent has 85% less pathogens than the influent and has been seen to be more effective at growing richer crops. It should be noted that the levels of decontamination still aren't safe for humans and the effluent should be used as fertilizer in order to grow food for animals and to filter the, the water. One of the end products is biogas, which is combusted to generate electricity and heat, or can be processed into renewable natural gas and transportation fuels. This biogas is usually filtered by a steel woolen plate in order to remove any odorous sulfide compounds, which normally smell like rotten eggs. From a 10 meter cubed polyethylene tubular digester, with at least three adult pigs, you can expect to cook from four to six hours a day using the biogas. One of the largest reasons of failure for biodigesters in the Monteverde zone has been faulty maintenance. Do clean and mix the sedimentation tank daily. Do from time to time mix the biodigester bag. Do maintain a steady flow of influent. Do biogas is a bigger pollutant than carbon dioxide, so burn excess methane if not in use. Do Check your pipes from time to time to make sure they are not obstructed. Do keep some sort of fencing around the biodigester to keep animals out. Don't let your animals fall in and mix the biodigester for you. Don't allow acidic foods or excrement from medicated animals to enter the biodigester. Don't use too much water in cleaning the animal's pens. The less water, the better for the biodigester with average volatile solid reductions of 88.72% and BOD5 reduction of 93.49% as seen in Monte Verde, if the outgoing waste for an average size Floridian high school could be treated, it would lessen the burden the city water treatment plants have to handle considerably. The Hillsborough County, a prime example of a Floridian school district, has branched to include many different programs including culinary arts, driver's education, and even agriculture. Due to large populations of non-farm rural areas and suburban or urban areas which students are coming from, many schools have adapted their own campuses to include farms and animals to teach students. Barns and farm animals are commonplace. They are normally separated from the main campus and seem to be on the edges of the campus. With such a collected waste concentration in one place, the waste coming from farm animals and the land available on most school campuses, a biodigester on a school campus could have a very great positive environmental impact. With the advent of methane burning stoves, once the gas has been collected from such a high volume biodigester, it would allow for a large portion of the day's cooking to be done without the use of electricity. Once the gas has been collected, not only could it be used for cooking, but it could be used for science laboratories, to heat water, or it could be sold back to the county as natural gas, in order to provide extra revenue for school functions or needs. Biodigesters are a magnificent technology which can provide additional revenue for a low initial cost as well as a treatment of wastewater. If you would like to do more research in this topic, please check the links and the sources at the end of this video. Thank you.